Hello guys, girls, and non-binary pals, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over how you can make guild with only leather worker in patch 6.05 and walker. Now of course, I did hint at it in my second to last video about how good leather working has been for me these past few weeks, and I actually held off on making this video because I wanted to enjoy it just for a little bit longer because it is so good it is so good and i will tell you everything that i know how i've been making guild on my leather working list and everything that i will talk about in the video will be in the timestamps below so with that being said let's get into it So just from Pure Leathers, I've been making millions these last two weeks. And the best thing about it is that Team Craft has a price to craft option now in their list UI. So when you look at these kinds of lists, you can check, okay, well this leather is only getting me 1k profit per this leather is giving me 10k profit per, I would much rather craft 10 more of these 10k profit than the 1k profit. So of course, take a look, take advantage of the new features as we go along the video. And from Intermediates, Glamour, there's a lot you can do with Leather Worker and whether or not you're max level or level 50. Of course, everything will be down below, so let's get started. And the first section we'll go over is Intermediates. Now, this is probably my favorite because you don't have to high quality anything. This is just picking out what's best for you from the team craft list and quick crafting as many as you can. Now, of course, you need to server hop for these because the less you can pay for the materials, the more margin of profit you will gain per leather. And it's from level 10 to all the way till 90, whether you're crafting endgame or not, this is a wonderful and viable option for you. You can also target skins from your battle retainers, so if there's something that's a little bit more expensive or you just don't want to go in a server hop for, just send out your battle retainer and you can get them that way as well. Now as you can see, I've been selling a lot just on this retainer. Now my favorite is the Kirimu leather and the High Elegant Chimera leather. Now, this is kind of crazy. 20 leathers, 360,000. Now, that's a lot in regards to how much you actually invest in. The skins are around 300 gil, and the catalysts are also very cheap. Earth crystals or clusters are very cheap in comparison to the fire and the ice. You don't need any of those. It's just the earth ones for leather worker and everything else. I think the high elegant Khmer one is probably around 1k to invest and around 18k on my server to get that. But we can go, of course, check for ourselves in the list. Once you open the list, you can go to your pricing mode, click up here in spending, and then down here in fill in market board prices based on your server. Now, of course, the spending and the benefits don't actually matter because I'm not here to look at the total benefits. I'm not gonna be crafting one of each. I'm instead looking at the price to crawl and then the normal quality buying price here. Now, of course, something like hard hippogriff leather, 2K to craft, but you could buy it for 16 gil. This is especially eye-opening because crafting is not always the best option for crafting. Kind of crazy to say that, but sometimes it is just better to buy intermediates because it costs more to craft it like it is instead of just going and buying it. Now, 2K to craft, 3K to sell, not that great. There's probably a better one. Right here is 223 gil to craft and it sells for 1,994. So this is a very low investment for a pretty good margin of profit. But of course, the High Elegant Chimera, 2.3k to craft and 18k to sell. Kirmu, 3.5k to craft. 16k to sell. Now what I do all the time is just go here, check what's best, and start crafting and then posting. It's very simple, very low maintenance. You hardly have to adjust your prices. I just do it every morning, afternoon, and night. And I come back every time to either 300k gil in the morning and 500k at night. So this is a really good option if you just want to quick craft, not bother with undercutting and go. The next section is glamour. 
Now I'll go over two different types of glamour, gray type and green type. Gray type meaning glamour in regards to stuff from maps, and green type which is old battle gear that people now use just for glamour. Now of course there is a list full of glamour that you can go and check for, but if you're starting out and you have a high means of investment, then gray glamour is the best for you. And what I would start with is the calf skin set. This stuff sells for a lot very often and the margin of profit is very high. Now of course we can go check for ourselves in the list. Now this list has everything from a leatherer to weaver so just look to up here at the coral beach halter. This is all the leather worker gray glamour items. Now of course I would craft two of each just to be just to have one ready exactly when one sells and then when that one sells then craft another one and so on and so forth. But if you see a piece that is exceptionally cheap then go ahead and buy a few because you want to buy low and sell each glamour piece with the highest margin of profit as possible. Now 77k to craft, 170,000 to sell is such a good margin of profit. 62k for 94. Things like urban and rubble stuff is very expensive to craft, but you do make a lot back. 861k to craft, and this does say 861k over here, but I just went and checked. There is nothing selling at the moment, so you could put this for 1,200,000 or just sell it for 1,000,000. That is still a 200k profit right there. The calfskin stuff, of course, sells very quickly and for very well. 347 to craft, but 727,000 to sell. Now, of course, that that's why I love Grey Glamour so much. You do need a lot to put in, but you get so much back. It's kind of insane, especially if you want to do maps. Old maps are so good right now, especially the zoner skin maps. You will get so much money just from the old leathers. You can make an absolute fortune. Next, of course, is Green Glamour. Now, I don't have a list specifically, but just go through the old battle gear, check what looks good to you, and check for what sells well. But I do recommend the Nail Ish Guardian tops and other pieces because the margin of profit is pretty high for the investment needed. A lot of the Megalania leathers are like 100 a piece. So this is really good if you want to do glamour, but don't have a lot to invest in. And this stuff still sells very well. You can go and check how well it sells, of course, on your server and figure out what works best for you. The next section is the Leatherworker Quest items. Now this is not very different, well not at all different than from my last Leatherworker only video. The Quest items are of course still very viable to sell, especially when you're not yet max level. As long as you can high quality the items that are needed to be high quality, then this is totally viable because the amount needed to craft these items is very very low for the amount that they sell for. And especially the amount of people competing with you is extremely low because not very many people craft old items and especially old gear. Now it costs 89k to craft this entire list and, it, and if you sold everything then you would make back 700k and that's only crafting one of each item here. As you can see the chivalric long coat of aiming it costs 9k to craft but at HQ you could sell it for 70k. You could sell it for 70k. So it's very good if you're at low level and you don't have much to start off with, especially since there are so many people getting into crafting and crafting is so streamlined and quick. You often don't get an opportunity to even go into your quest. People will just go and buy the items off the market board to save time. But yeah, looking at this on my market board, it goes even up to 100k at a time. Of course, there are a lot of people on my server selling this since it is the last item and most expensive one. You can look for the more of the mid-tier ones if you don't want to undercut as much, but this is exceptionally great since it only costs around 10k to craft. The next section is in-game crafting. Usually I would split this up between intermediates and general gear, but there's not very many leather worker intermediates at endgame at the moment since the patch just came out with new stuff and the expansion only came out around a month ago now. So for now the Amy Naladon leather is very good to craft if you're looking for something endgame and an intermediate. It costs around 11k of course for high quality and to craft it is 5.6k. You get double back for the amount that it costs to craft which is pretty good. Now of course 
I usually craft these high quality, but people are just undercutting without looking whether or not it's high quality, and people buy both normal quality and high quality, so if normal quality is selling just as well as high quality, then don't bother with high quality, don't waste time with it, just craft the normal quality as you would instead of wasting time on that. Now this is one chest piece from Leatherworking that you can end game craft at 83k, of course the profit is there, and I can link down below all the end game crafts in a list so you can check how much of a margin of profit there is but for me i just don't touch the gear or any kind of end game crafting with gear because the amount of people that are there undercutting you're gonna have to babysit this a lot if you're fine with that then go ahead this will of course sell very quickly if you do manage to constantly undercut everyone else but otherwise i would just avoid this and go and craft the intermediates or just something else entirely the next section is a level 1 through 50 and then 50 to 80 and then 80 to 90 crafts so this is for people who are not yet fully leveled all the way to people who are leveled now of course these are just recommended crafts the larger idea here is to look for crafting and gathering items and any kind of glamour along the way that way you can craft in high quality for crafter and gatherer here which people will need because a lot of people are crafting and a lot of people are leveling their gathers it is a great way to make a lot of gill with a very low investment with guaranteed profit but first off is the toad leather from level 26 the goat skin wristbands of gathering from level 27 the toad skin work boots from level 31 the boar skin ring from level 39 and finally the griffno skin rest guard from level 50 from 50 50 to 80 the first item is the dragon skin ring from level 57 then the dragon skin choker and wristbands both of these sell pretty well but make sure to craft them high quality of course next is the sloth skin ring of gathering at level 70 it does sell very slowly but when it does you can sell it for a lot next is the zoner skin gloves of gathering now the whole zoner skin gathering set sells for quite a bit and you could start crafting this at level 77 and now for level 88 to 90 all the gathering and crafting sets sell very well and also the leathers itself also sell for quite a bit which you can of course go check the entire margin of profit in the leather list listed down below so that was how you can make a ton of gill with just leather worker and endwalker 6.05 now leather worker is super good i think it's on par with weaver with how much you can craft how much you can make and how little investment you have to do to make an insane amount of profit now i did hold off on this video because i really really kind of just wanted to milk this a little bit longer but i hope this can help you out with making a heck ton of cheese and if prices drop of course just take the ideals that i showed you and told you about and apply them to different areas crafting and gathering gear is the best leathers will always dip and go up again so just keep an eye on what's selling and if you see a leather that is super high in investment just send out a retainer for this skin i can make a lot of profit that way as well so guys thank you so much for watching thank you to everyone that supports me on twitch discord and youtube you all keep the channel going like comment and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye